Hi everyone, my name is Gary. I'm Steve. And we're from worldstart.com and we're uh, here today to go over some uh, common flash drive questions that we uh, seem to get pretty often. Um, here at worldstart.com we sell a lot of flash drives, we definitely use a lot of flash drives, um, so our customers have a lot of questions. Um, for the readers out there, there's, uh, we, you know, we get easily over a dozen a week questions about how to use a flash drive, how to move files, how to transfer files, delete things. So uh, we just kind of figured we'd go over it with you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Steve and he's going to just use the computer and show you some things you can do with a flash drive. Thanks Gary. Um, first, you need a flash drive. So I'm going to grab my flash drive out of my pocket here. Oh, well, I'm not. Where did my flash drive go? Wait a minute. Well, that's my frog. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> There's the flash drive. Okay, we're gonna take the flash drive. We're gonna plug it into the computer. When you do this, just find a free USB port. It's real easy. Plugging it in is very is probably the easiest part of the flash drive, but the whole thing is pretty good. So we're gonna plug this in and we are going to go to the computer now. Let's take a look. We have just inserted our flash drive and we're looking at the computer screen and it says Kingston is now drive E and it's asking us what we want to do. Uh, in this case, Probably the best thing would be to open the folder to view files, but we're actually going to skip that right now because if you don't have autoplay set to run on your computer, you're not going to see anything when you plug the flash drive in. So we're going to close this out. I'm going to show you how to get to your flash drive another way. You hit your start button and you go to computer or in Windows XP, my computer, and you're going to see all your different drives that are currently on your computer. And there you go. There's your Kingston. Now we're going to double click that to look at the file. Now had you clicked Open, uh, open folder to view files when it first went in. This is the exact same thing you would have got. So let's take a look here and do some stuff. The first thing you're going to want to do is maybe put some files in this empty flash drive. And we have a couple of files here on the desktop. We're just going to select them. And I'm going to take these photos and I'm going to copy them right over there. That's just drag and drop. You hold them down and you drop them right in there. And now I can unplug that Kingston flash drive and take these photos wherever I want to take them. But that's not the only way to get stuff on there. Here's another cool way, is you can right click a file that you want to have over on your flash drive and go to your send to menu. And if you scroll down, you'll see, look at that, there's the Kingston drive E. I'm gonna click that and watch what happens. Here's the next one, here's the photo that we just put there. But wait a minute, you know what? I didn't really want that photo. How the heck am I gonna get rid of that? Just like any other file operation, you click it, you right click, hit delete. And it's going to ask you, I'm going to say yes, I want to get rid of it, and it's gone. I could have also just highlighted it and hit delete on the keyboard if I wanted to, but we went with the menu option that time. Now, let's say you take this uh, flash drive and you went to a friend's house and say, hey, here's the photos I promised you. What do you do then? Well, let's say you want to take a photo and drop it over to a photos folder. We just so happen to have one of those on the desktop. I'm going to drag this right over and release it, and I've just copied that photo right over to my photos folder. Now once I'm done using the flash drive, you can just go to your menu down here and I'm going to right click, or I'm just going to click it to safely remove hardware. It says eject data traveler 150. We're going to select that, the Kingston, it kind of tells you right there. And we will be able to safely remove that hardware then. And that's about it. There you are. You're an expert on using flash drives now. And that's about all we have for today. Um, we just wanted to thank you for stopping by once again to check out our videos. Um, as always, uh, if you're catching this video on YouTube, you might want to check out www.worldstart.com. Uh, we have a great computer tips newsletter. It goes out every day. We have a blog with all of our uh, personal uh, stories and, and things that we like to share. And uh, as always, if you have a question for us, feel free to visit www.worldstart.com forward slash ask.